All right, so real quick, we're looking at the next version of the glider that we can build for project 1.6, uh, which is our, our sort of cumulative project here. Um, so we're going to talk real quick about stick and wing gliders and what you can do to sort of build those. Um, what's really neat about stick and wing gliders, they kind of can be made off of anything that you want. It's really just about what do you have laying around. So a few different options, you know, I've got literally just a strip of cardboard that we can use as our fuselage. Um, I've got some straws. These happen to have been like taped or glued together on another project a while back. So I've got that. I've also just got a basic dowel. Um, you could theoretically even build this off of a pencil or something like that. It doesn't really matter. You just need something long and thin to function as your fuselage. Okay. Um, as for the, the wing portions, you've got all sorts of different options. I've got one of these foam trays that I used before for our foam glider. We've got regular cardstock paper. I've also got just a manila envelope, you know, a, a mailing envelope that we can use. Um, tool wise, not a whole lot that you need out of the ordinary. We've got a pair of scissors, a box knife, uh, a marker just to draw. It doesn't, again, doesn't matter. You can use any of this. Um, I've also got a couple of rolls of tape. I happen to have some, some blue masking tape and uh, some clear packing tape handy. Um, they just happen to be sitting here. If you've got scotch tape, that's great. Um, I've also got a little glue gun because I happen to have one sitting out. Uh, so let's talk about how we can build something uh, for this project using these kind of materials. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to try and build this one off of this dowel. Okay. Um, the length of it doesn't really matter, uh, but it's sort of up to you to figure out what works. So I'm going to throw those aside. We're just going to work off this dowel. This is about, oh, this is just, just about 11 inches long, so just shy of a foot long, um, but it's a plain little basic dowel. It's, you know, real small. It's what? That's maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch in size and diameter. So this is going to serve as my fuselage for my project. For my wings, um, I've already done a foam glider, so I'm going to put that away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this manila envelope because this is something that you can get. You know, you may get something in the mail. Uh, you can just grab it out of the mail and use that. But I'm going to sort of do this. I'm going to set my fuselage on it and just sort of look at it and figure out, well, what can I do? I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to say it's like, well, I want sort of the nose of my plane to stick out and then I need some wings. So I'm going to think about what wings normally look like. And I'm going to do I'm going to try and do some fairly big wings. And I'm just, you know, so I'm just kind of sketching out. In fact, I'm just going to go all the way to the edge. I'm not going to worry about those ends. And so there's there's my wing shape. Now I come back here um, and I want some sort of a tail on it. So, you know, normally plain tails would look something maybe like this. So that would be my, my tail section, but then I'd also need a, a vertical piece. Um, so, you know, maybe I'm going to go and... Just draw, oh, I don't know, I'll draw a piece right here in the middle to sort of function as my tail piece. Again, I'm not I'm not super worried about how amazing it looks or or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just sort of gonna try this. Because again, this project really does come back to iteration. You try something, you see what works, um, and then you can go back and make changes. So again, because it's just easier for me, I'm going to grab this box knife and I'm going to cut through here. And again, I'm not doing a great job staying on the lines. If I was going to do this, if I was doing this as part of my actual assignment, I'd slow down a little bit um, just so that way I get better cuts. Everything's going to be a little cleaner that way. Um, here we go. We've got a straight line there. Cut that guy out. So we got that. And then come back here. Cut out our tail. Here we go. So we've got a couple of things. We've got our tail. We've got our wings. All right. So we've got all our pieces put together or not put together, but we've got them all cut out. Now this one, because I didn't even take the package apart and I didn't, it's kind of looped like this. And you know what? That's fine. I can absolutely work with that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And the main reason for that is because now I know exactly where the dead center is. Okay. And that's sort of my goal is I want to know exactly where the dead center is. I'm going to do the same thing with my tail section, which I'm going to be honest, I did kind of a horrible job cutting out. Okay, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to grab my pair of scissors and I'm just going to snip this so that they match. So that way when I unfold it, 
I again have sort of the center and that still looks kind of bad. So I am going to trim that up. That looks a little better. So now I have this tail section um, and then I've got this piece, which is going to be the vertical piece of my glider. So I'm going to grab my fuselage back. And I'm just going to sort of lay it because I folded these. It means that I know exactly where the centers are. Okay. And that's, that's my goal. And as we go through here, we're going to use that sort of as the basis for our project. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use hot glue because I happen to have it and it's already heated up. I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to use the hot glue real, real lightly. Doesn't take a lot. And I'm going to try to put some hot glue and I'm just putting it into the edges where the manila envelope hits the fuselage or the dowel rod. And I'm going to do the same thing back here in the back. Now, is this going to be perfect? Absolutely not. Another way you can do it, actually, I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to spread the glue onto the actual dowel or my fuselage. And then I'll drop it on top of that piece of my tail. Okay. So we've got this and we give it just a few seconds to dry. It doesn't take long. Now, because I did do it like this, where my plane, my plane wing is flappy like that, we, that's not going to work to fly with. So, you know, maybe I'll take a piece of my packing tape. Okay. It doesn't have to be a super huge amount but I'll take a piece and put it on this side and then fold it over. And then I can take my scissors and cut off the excess down here at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the opposite side as well. So why am I doing this? Well, the main reason is that when this flies through the air, I don't want that wing to open up uh, and catch air and sort of act as a big source of drag. So you might ask, well, why didn't I just cut it in half and just use one layer of the wing? Well, the reason why is because I look at it and I think, well, maybe I want it to be a little stiffer. So the two layers will help with that. Now, what's really kind of neat is that if you look at the ends of these now, because I have two layers of paper, it actually sort of tries to spread itself out. And you can talk about this. It's kind of like building a camber into your wing. Okay. So I come back here. I still want to deal with this edge here. So when I cut it out, I got two of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat. I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put just a drop of hot glue kind of in the top middle. And I'm going to press them together um, evenly is my goal. So I'm kind of gluing those two sides back together at the top only so that the bottom spreads out. And the reason why I'm doing that is because now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make my glue gun work a little better, but I'm going to add glue on the tail on either side of my fuselage. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to spread the pieces apart and lay them on either side. So it's actually going to surround. That was hot. It's actually going to surround my fuselage on either side as it glues itself into place. And I'm going to take this little piece of tape that's just sort of laying around. I'm going to use to spread that hot glue on both sides so that I make sure that my tail is in fact glued on fully. It's not going to just fall off on me. And so what I've ended up here after just a couple of minutes um, is a basic glider. So again, you've got your wings up front, you've got your tail, your rudder. Each of these could then be modified. You could snip with scissors into each of these wings to build flaps or ailerons that will let you control how your plane rolls, okay? You can come back here and adjust these for, with, and add elevators to control its pitch up and down. And then you can come back to your tail and you can snip and add a rudder so you can control your yaw left and right. But this is, again, just a super fast way to build a stick glider. Okay, so this is just a stick and wing glider. You can have any sort of center fuselage. Um, I had a dowel, so that's what I grabbed. And you can make your wings out of basically anything you have handy and available. Now, the other thing you'll have to think about is, is weight. So on one of these, if you may need to add some weight, you can, again, you know, you could add paper clips. 
you know, slip paper clips onto the tip of the wing or onto the fuselage. You could even go back and grab this hot glue gun. And if you decide, well, I need more weight up front, well, I'm going to just put a dab of hot glue there, let it dry, and then see what happens. You know, maybe you need a lot of weight. Um, you know, you grab a penny, hot glue a penny to the tip of it. But a lot of it comes down to what is it that you think you're going to need? Okay. And because you're iterating, you're repeating it over and over as you move so you get better and better results, it's totally okay to do that. Okay. That's one of the big things to remember is that you don't get it right the first time. You know, if you go back to the Wright brothers, when they were designing their first planes, they didn't succeed the first time. It took them multiple attempts. And that's true of almost every major invention that you'll see in human history. So once again, this is your basic stick and wing glider. It's just another way to put together some sort of a flying prototype that you can test to see how it works. And remember, as you go through, to go look at that video about dihedrals to talk about how the angle of your wings is going to affect how it glides through the air.